making a uh, video game controller uh, card or anything you like. Um, so what you're going to be needing is a pencil, a ruler, a couple of pages of your um, for your remote. I chose to go with blue, red, green, yellow, and white. Um, any kind of adhesive or glue and some scissors and some markers. If you don't want to cut out the uh, shapes, you can draw them in. Okay, so let's begin our project. You're also going to need some black paper too. So I'm going to start with a, a white piece of paper for my controller. And you are going to fold it in half like this. You can kind of use your ruler to make this more flat. So now you are going to take your uh, ruler and you are going to measure on one side two inches in and you're going to make a line and on the other side you are going to take two inches in and you're going to mark that and the next step is to take your ruler like this and you are going to mark three inches down and do the same thing to your other line. And then you are going to connect your uh, line, which will be about four inches. You're just going to connect the two lines that you just made. Oops. Hold on one sec. Okay, so that is the section, you'll have something that looks like this. This is the section of your controller. Next step, you are going to take... Now you're going to take from the point to about three inches and a half down. So you're going to make a diagonal line. And then from there, you're going to um, hand try to... to um, roughly draw the controller around this. So it looks like a controller. So you have something that looks like this. Now you're going to erase this part right here so it looks like one piece. What you can do is if you want the same thing on the other side and you want it to be kindly even, you're going to fold your uh, cardstock in half and you're going to cut around here for your controller. You'll have a shape that looks like this. You're supposed to put one of the straight edges up against your fold so the card will open up like this. All right, um, let me show you what's next. Now you're going to cut a a half inch circle out and we are going to stick this on our um, our controller and I'll show you where that goes in a second. So you're going to find the center of your thing and place this at the top. If you are making a Xbox controller, which we are kind of doing, we're going to make an X to go on top of this because this is that power button. Alright, so let's make the X. To make the X, you need to make like an X that's roughly about half an inch. And then you're going to bubbleize it. So you're going to go around the X you just made. Like that. See, like that. And then you are going to make it round. And you're going to cut this out. And then I'll show you what to do from there. You've got your X cut out. You are going to cut. Um, hold on. You're going to cut the little triangles out from each of your X sections. Like so. 
and continue to go all the way around. You gotta cut it out. It should look like this. And you're gonna put glue on it and you're going to glue it to your um, button that we just made. So it'll look like this. Next you are going to cut out uh, four small circles. Um, these are going to be your Y, A, X, and B buttons. Um, just roughly hand draw these. Um, these are about the size of, let's see. Maybe it's about the size of a one-fourth circle. So you're going to cut four of these out. And I'll show you what's next. I'm going to glue these. So there goes one there. One down here. One over here. And one over here. And you're going to glue those down like that. I'm going to make the letters that go on to our buttons that we just made. So the first one we are going to do is we're going to make a Y. You're going to make it the same way you made the X for that uh, center button. So you're going to draw a Y like this. And then you are going to go around it like we did for your X. So you're going to create a bubble letter. So it looks like that. You're going to cut that out. So here is the Y. You might have to erase your pencil lines because if you write it the bubble way, the lines are going to be facing up. Otherwise, your Y will be backwards. So erase your pencil lines. And now you're going to take the glue and you are going to glue your Y to the top of your button, your top button. We have something that looks like this. The next letter we are going to be doing is B, which is this one right here. So you're just going to repeat the same steps of um, making your letters. So you're just going to draw out the letter regularly and then make bubbles around it and then cut it out. And you're going to do that for B, A, and X. B will be done in red. X will be done in blue, and A will be done in green. So B is red, A is green, and X is blue. So this is what the B looks like. I have taken a red marker and drawn in the circles for the B. So you're going to take your B and you're going to stick it right here on your uh, B button. So you're going to glue it right there. Here's the A. I've done the same thing with the little triangle thing in the center because these are really small and hard to cut out. So you're going to take your A and glue it where the A button is. This is what the X looks like and you're just going to glue that right there on that button right there. Right there. Now you're going to cut out uh, two circles. These will be the little uh, joysticks that are on our controller. And then you'll need to cut out a, uh, a plus sign or a cross sign or whatever you want to call this thingy on the, the controller. Alright, and I'll show you where to place these. You're going to glue the one joystick here, the plus sign, and the other joystick up here. Bit more like emphasis of it being a controller, you're going to take a black marker or a black pencil and you're going to draw a line around circle around where your uh, controller is, the joysticks. And for the plus sign, you're going to take your marker and draw. around it so it looks something like this all right next step the next step is to make your uh, buttons for like the start and the information button this is on your Xbox controller uh, if you're making a different remote 
you'll probably have different uh, buttons. So you're going to take the uh, three lines button and stick it here. And the other button right here. You're just going to glue those down like that. Right in between the center here. To give them more emphasis that they're actually a button, you can take your black marker and go around them. Like this. And this is what the top of the card looks like. You can write anything you want inside. Um, I'm going to quickly write something, and if you want to write it, you can. Or you can write anything you want. So this is what I wrote in my card. I wrote, video games are fun, just like your birthday too. Happy birthday to you. Um, so that's what our card looks like. And if you didn't want to do it with all the paper piecing, you could uh, even draw it out yourself. So this is a hand-drawn one. So if you want to hand-draw it, you can do it like that. Or you can do it like this with the paper piecing. Alright, so I hope you uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you make this uh, game controller card. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.